Hey folks, Chuck Holton here. I'm out on the beach in the Cameron or, or Farayon, they call it, here at Rio Hato in Panama. And this morning is the anniversary of our invasion here. But here it is about seven o'clock in the morning. It's a beautiful, beautiful morning out here on the beach. And this beach looked a whole lot different. And there were rangers up and down here. There had been firefights going on all night long. And I wanna take you down and show you a little bit of the house where Noriega, that it was Noriega's beach house. He wasn't there, but uh, it was one of the major objectives of the invasion here in Rio Hato. Check this out. So this is about all that was left, all that is left now of Noriega's beach house. It was torn down about three years ago from what I'm told, but he used to have a very nice house right here. And from this house was taken, were, were taken a lot of the war trophies that people found here at Rio Hato. This is Farayon Island, and it was basically the, the marker we were looking for as the 13 C-130 aircraft came in onto the runway at Rio Hato, and that was the airport at Rio Hato that we jumped onto and took over in the first hours of the invasion. But this island was the the place we were looking for to make sure we were in the right place. So this is all that's left of Noriega's property down here. Now I'm told he actually owned five houses uh, right along this beachfront. And most of them are gone or have been converted to other things. There's the ruins of one left that's up, up a little higher on the shore shoreline. But there's supposed to be a some sort of memorial service out here on the beach this morning. And I'm gonna go see if I can find that service. I see some chairs down there, but I think it's just gonna be laying some flowers out here uh, to remember the people who died at Rio Hato, uh, of which there were perhaps a couple dozen all in all. Most of them were PDF soldiers. This was a military base uh, during that time, and it was the headquarters of the 6th and 7th Panamanian Special Forces Companies. They were known as the Macho de Monte, and their barracks occupied the spot where today uh, you see the Decameron Resort. Really nice, uh, all inclusive resort right here on the beach owned by the Colombians. So we're, I'm gonna go he over here and see if there's anyone actually having a memorial service. This is about the only time I like to be at the beach before the sun actually comes up. I'm not a big beach guy. I don't like bright sunshine, things like that. But this is nice. It's a nice little walk along the beach.